So the first of the aspects or ingredients of our theology of science is that the biblical tradition affirms that our relationship with nature um, and our conceptual intellectual relationship with nature as well as our practical one go back to the dawn of human culture, the dawn of writing, of poetry, of thought. Um, we'll be looking at examples and we've seen the birth of wisdom in that ancient uh, poem from Proverbs chapter 8. Um, let's just turn to the psalm material uh, momentarily. Psalm 104 um, is, is an important creation psalm. Let's, uh, let's, let's pick it up at verse 19 where it talks about the connectivity of the dynamics of the heavens to human cycles. The moon marks off the seasons and the sun knows when to go down. You, Yahweh, bring darkness, it becomes night and all the beasts of the forests prowl. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they steal away. They return and lie down in their dens. Then man goes out to his work, to his labor until evening. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. We have there the conception of understanding of how the rhythms of the human and animal world are connected with the cosmic rhythms of moon and sun and earth. 